Head on to Guadalajara. Speak to Seymour and head to the Far Plane. Grab the lightning marbles here and save them for battles. Buy lightning ward from Awaka for whoever needs it, except for Titus. You will find lightning proof armor for him later. Move along to the Thunder Plains. Make sure to pray at the Cactar Stones. There's one front and center, the other will be on the right in a nook. Pray at three stones in total. The third one is found in the next screen. You will start to encounter Cactars. Steal Chocobo Feathers and hit them with items or overdrives to kill them. Use a Lightning Marble or an Aeon Overdrive to get an overkill. Make sure to keep three or four Lightning Marbles. You'll need it for a future boss. They notably drop MP Stroll and Initiative Weapons. MP Stroll Armor is somewhat OP. If you get it on Nuna, you should be able to full heal after every battle. If they drop an initiative weapon, make sure that person is in the party. You can swap them out or change their weapon, but put them back in the party to prevent any ambushes. If your initiative weapon has an empty slot, add first strike. I think this combo goes best with Riku. Use Null Shock and Silence Attack to get a leg up on magic enemies. If you're on PC, you'll do the Lightning Dodge. Press F3 twice for no encounters. If you're not on PC, come back when you get no encounters armor. Dodge at least 50 bolts, but I will be doing 100. That will get all the purple sphere prizes. 2 MP sphere, 3 HP sphere, and 3 strength sphere. Once you reach the inn, you should buy some grenades. They are perfect for getting rid of flyers. Any smoke bombs or similar items in your inventory will work just as well as grenades. Grab the yellow shield for lightning proof on Titus. For the next section, you will now encounter iron golems. You can steal light curtain to cast protect. If you encounter them with one eyes, use a smoke bomb. Otherwise, have Titus provoke. Iron will use power break. and Riku or Kamari should use Light Curtain to protect Titus. You can either whittle away his health, or hit with Stone Touch and Death Touch until one of them takes. The Iron Golem also drops SOS Regen Armor. With this, I've often cast Haste on a low HP person just to have Regen work faster. Next up, is the Makalania Woods. Do the first butterfly hunt to get an MP Sphere. You should have these purple spheres now. Make sure Titus is equipped with lightning proof. When you encounter a Chimera, have Titus use Provoke. The Chimera will get stuck in a loop Keep Titus out front. Make sure to steal and include all other party members in battle. Use Lancet for Aqua Breath. You'll run into a Waka right before the next boss. Look at his weapons and then exit out. Tell him it's too pricey for a discount. Go back and buy Sonic Steel to give Titus first strike. Have Ixion's Overdrive prepared. 
you will move forward and battle Sphiroth. Have Yuna load the party with null magics. Cast haste on her to speed this up. Attack with someone to figure out the current element. Lulu's level is not high enough. You should be using the elemental items that it is weak to. Once you've dealt around 5 or 6,000 damage, wait for its element to turn to water and use Ixion's Overdrive to guarantee an overkill. If the element isn't turning to water, you can also use one of Riku's high-level elemental mixes. You'll get two level 2 key spheres. We can now start to break your characters into stat-dense regions of the sphere grid. This will conclude part 2 of this guide. Next time we will do some backtracking, some blitzball, and most importantly, stat boosting.